Did you know that something else besides Denny Hamlin cheating is happening in the NASCAR world? Me either. Hi, hi, hi. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Check your bike. Hell yeah! Woo! One hell of a job, man. One hell of a job. Woo! Yeah! Mandy Series champion right here. Nice work, boss. Hell yeah, guys! <laughs> That's awesome. Let's drink the beer. What do you think, Cole? I'm fucking ready. Denny Hamlin really wants us to move on from him cheating, NASCAR admitting that he cheated, NASCAR admitting that they didn't call him out on cheating at Richmond. So we're going to just not do what Denny said and continue to talk about it. So let me know in the comments down below, did Denny Hamlin cheat at Richmond? And what should NASCAR do about it now, days later? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you do not miss a video. And of course, log on to ARNRace.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. Lots of other things to talk about. This is the pit pass, your personal pass for everything NASCAR in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, I should say. Right out of the gate, massive, massive shout out to Raja Karuth, who just got featured on a very, very prominent news program. Uh, and it's shot his uh, non-NASCAR status into the stratosphere. So finally, some people are paying attention to Raja Karuth, who frankly need to start paying attention to him because he is a very talented driver. I think he's going to be I, I don't want to say he's the next Jeff Gordon. Uh, I think he could be the next Kyle Larson. That's why Mr. Rick Hendrick has taken an interest in his racing career. I'm just saying, keep an eye on the kid. And I'm hearing rumors. I cannot stress this enough. These are unconfirmed rumors that Raja Karuth is in line to uh, potentially drive the number 17 in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Sometime in 2024, they announced a handful of races with their Cup Series driver and Boris said running a road course race. And we're hearing that Raja Karuth and HendrickCars.com are talking about putting him in one or two NASCAR Xfinity Series races once the playoffs start towards the end of the year. But again, nothing is official. Nothing is confirmed. We're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But but I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Raja Karuth should be in the NASCAR Xfinity Series full-time for Hendrick Motorsports in 2025. I'm going on the record now. That should happen. Make it happen, Rick. I'm just saying. You might remember this little bumper-throwing incident from Richmond over the weekend. NASCAR has issued a $5,000 fine to owner-driver Joey Gase for this little bumper toss incident. The bumper throw did go viral and was picked up by local media outlets all over the country. So in this case, NASCAR might want to actually pay Joey Gase for helping to promote the sport. Just saying. Also, in the number 88 this weekend, I almost completely forgot about this, Carson Quaffle is going to be taking over the 88 for Junior Motorsports in Mortonsville this weekend in a paint scheme that looks an awful lot like they just happened to have the graphics package for Justin Allgaier's car and went, uh, Chevy Truck Month. Yes, that's what that car is now. Yes, it's a Chevy car now. Not a Justin Allgaier car. Why do you ask? But still, pretty cool looking car. Uh, best of luck to him. Honestly, I think he should have have hopefully a pretty decent little run, but we're going to find out this weekend at Martinsville under the lights. A little bit of late-breaking news. We're hearing that part-time NASCAR Xfinity Series driver Gray Galding was arrested in North Carolina for domestic violence charges yesterday, Tuesday, April 2nd at 7 a.m. and was released just a few hours later. NASCAR has not confirmed or denied the arrest, but we're anticipating an indefinite suspension for Gray Galding pending the results of these domestic violence charges. Galding competed in 11 races during the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series schedule with two top 10 finishes. The Virginian driver has not publicly announced any plans for the 2024 season at the time of the arrest. By the way, in case you missed it, it was Chandler Smith picking up his second victory of the season. Second straight win out at Richmond for this young driver. Second win of 2024. He takes over the point lead uh, from the 21 of Austin Hill. Chandler Smith is a championship contender. The end period, end of discussion. Like, this is the guy you're going to have to beat for the championship at the moment. But the fact that he is in a Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota should be dangerous to everybody in the field, honestly. He was pretty damn good last season when he was in a college car, and now he's in arguably one of the best cars in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 
Y'all need to watch out for this guy. I definitely think he's got a better car underneath him than Austin Hill does in the 21, who, by the way, Austin Hill finishes eighth out at Richmond, moves down to second in the points, 10 points behind Chandler Smith at the moment. And when the playoffs are, uh, when the playoffs kick off, I should say, Chandler Smith is going to be seated number one because of his other finishes besides the two victories. But uh, Smith and Hill leading the series right now with two victories each. These are the two guys you're going to have to beat. Whether or not Hill is a Final Four contender, I don't know. Chances are he's going to lose his mind and just drive all over his teammate again at Martinsville at the end of the year and not make the Final Four. But, uh, you know, it could happen. I don't know. We're going to have to wait to see. But um, other shout-outs that I want to give for this last weekend out at Richmond, you had Jesse Love in the number two car for RCR, coming home fifth out at Richmond, moves to fourth in the point standing, 67 points out of the points lead. This guy's quietly having a really respect rookie season and frankly once he starts to gel with the car once his crew starts to gel with him he could be pretty dangerous I'm just saying and if I'm literally a, any owner in the cup series I'm looking at Jesse Love going hey bud what's your contract situation look like for next year because he seriously is that good and he's young and frankly I think he's going to be a superstar in the cup series and I know the reason a handful of you clicked on this video, SVG, Shane Van Gisbergen, uh, finished 15th out at Richmond. Not a great run, but not a bad run for a rookie. This is a really good run out at Richmond for SVG. Uh, fine. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to him. Um, it's a fine run. It's not a good run. It's not a bad run. It's fine but for svg and his fan base it's a horrible weekend and when you're finishing 15th as a rookie at richmond and you're thinking it's a horrible day that's a good sign um i do think that this is the guy who is going to be hopefully a contender to win on some of these ovals towards the end of the season but for now he's still building that notebook and getting experience under his belt he is 13th in the point standings right now 135 points out only a few points out of the cutoff uh right there in 12 for the post season if he doesn't make the playoffs nascar's in trouble with this series and i want to see him make the playoffs i think it would be very 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 cool to see svg make the nascar playoffs but i don't know i don't know if his team necessarily is got the right stuff i mean you look at it college racing have been suffering the last two three seasons and SVG coming in there I don't think can save them so I would like to see SVG with a better team uh, within the Chevy camp but uh, until track house starts an Xfinity program this is kind of the best he's got and I'm getting sick of this but Haley Deegan 31st out at Richmond not a good race there's no way around that bad weekend for her but again I'm going to keep harping on this this is an underfunded race team this is a rookie race team that is only in their second full-time season in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And while, yes, they're devoting all of their resources and everything that they have into Haley Deegan's car and into her program, there's not a whole lot there to give her, so to speak. And I think we're starting to see that. She's 29th in the point standings, 208 points out. She's a rookie who needs a veteran driver with her, or at least in her corner. And I don't think she has that over at AM Racing. And clearly, the resources that Ford promised were coming to that organization either haven't arrived yet or they're not coming at all. And it's going to be a long season for Ms. D, and I wish her and AM Racing all the luck because they are clearly building and struggling to find some speed. Now, one of my favorite parts of the program, we open up the comments down below for a little bit of your hot takes. Let's go ahead and start with this one. They need to DQ Hamlin before next week's race. I agree. I, I think at the very least you slap him with a four or five second penalty, relegating him to... I think just outside the top 10, just inside the top 10, maybe uh, finish and essentially hand the wind over to Joey Logano. But at the same time, NASCAR is not going to do that. They've publicly admitted that they screwed up. And in my opinion, everyone in the NASCAR control booth needs to be fired, period. You failed at doing your job. You failed at officiating. Your job is to uphold the NASCAR rule book. And they didn't do that. Uh, Sunday out at Richmond, period. There's no way around that. Everybody in that NASCAR control booth in race control needs to be fired. I don't care if there's an unpaid intern in there who was getting everybody coffee. They need to be fired, but they're not. And I think we need to go back to having one race official for the Cup Series full-time, one race official for the Xfinity and the truck race directing these races. They've kind of had a rotation of race directors uh, at, for the last five, six years, and really it's not working. You have 
inconsistent calls on the racetrack with the rules. Rules are black and white, period. There's literally lines on the racetrack. This is the restart box. And Hamlin went way early. And instead of calling it, NASCAR went, well, it's the end of the race. We didn't we didn't want to affect the outcome of the race. NASCAR, you're not affecting the outcome of this race. Denny Hamlin did that. NASCAR didn't have a gun to Denny Hamlin's head saying, jump this restart, do it now. Denny Hamlin did that on his own accord. And for the record, if Denny Hamlin didn't jump the restart, he still would have won. But he's an idiot and chose to jump the restart for whatever stupid ass reason there was. And I know he's going to try to give all the credit to his pit crew. Oh, the pit crew won me that race. It was all the pit crew. Yeah, but it was your big ass toe that stomped on that throttle early and brought this whole win into question. And yes, they should take it away. Cucumber win, encumbered win, take it away and give it to Joey Logano, who finished second. I'm just saying. Hell yes, he jumped. NASCAR is fixed. It was Hamlin's hometown, and Bubba took out Larson so he could catch Truex. Truex got pfft over. Truex needs to get even during the playoffs at the end of the year. That would be the perfect time for Truex to get even. I'm just saying, maybe maybe his throttle's going to stick going into turn one at, at Martinsville, and oh no, took out Denny Hamlin. Darn it. How dare I? I, I don't know. Just go full uh, Matt Kenseth on his ass. I'm just saying. Noah Gregson putting Stuart Haas racing on his back. It ain't flashy, but he's been the most consistent of the four. I highly agree. There's rumors that were circulating this week, um, and we talked about it last week, that Stuart Haas Racing is looking to unload at least one or two of their charters for 2025 uh, once the contract with Ford uh, ends at the end of 2024. And yeah, I, I think Noah Gregson is safe. He doesn't have the sponsor dollars around him, but I think when you look at Ryan Priest, who's finishing sub 30th when his teammates are running top 15, I think he's probably out next year. And I am looking at Chase Briscoe, even though he's got sponsors behind him i don't know it's not it's not trending in the right direction let's just say it's it's looking a bit murky over there for that 14 car but i think noah gregson is proving that he's the guy who deserves to be in the cup series over there for Stuart haas racing he clearly has that we're the i'm the future of this organization and same with josh barry he was running as high as second this last weekend in the cup series and frankly he's got that long-term look to him as well so if i'm if I'm Briscoe and, and Priest, I'm sweating bullets right now, knowing that I'm probably out of a ride next year. Heading to Martinsville this weekend for the NASCAR Cup Series, Xfinity, and the Truck Series. Uh, the NASCAR Xfinity Series coming at you on a Saturday night out at there at Martinsville, Virginia. I'm excited. How many hot dogs can I eat? probably more than I should if I'm being blunt but you know what it's a really cool racetrack I love the fact that we're racing at this track under the lights I wish the cup series was doing it too but I'm excited for the Xfinity race I'm excited to see who's actually going to carry success from Richmond out there to Martinsville this weekend and this is the cutoff race uh at the end of the season for the final four so this is something I have my uh, kind of circled on my list of mm, let's watch this race and see who does what. And if Chandler Smith uh, has a really good race and the 21 of Austin Hill doesn't, oh no, the jerk of NASCAR in the NASCAR Xfinity Series doesn't have a good race. Mm, darn it. But then again, we could see a Jesse Love go out there and dominate and win the damn thing or a Carson Quaffle. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while we're there, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you come on back for the next episode. And of course, log on to ARNRace.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. I want to thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Make sure that you come back on Friday for a new episode of Shifting Gears. For the Pit Pass, I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.